Yeah, yeah if I could just get a large Diet Coke, please. Or anything else? No, that'll be all. Okay. It's gonna come out to... 141. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Well, hi, guys. This is Fat Guy in his backpack, back again for another exciting episode. Um, let me pause this real quick. I don't want to uh, get any copyright infringements, but I'm listening to A Boy Called Christmas. It's a great audio book. Uh, the last of my Christmas books, so I'm almost done with it. But today's adventure, we are going to, let me get the exact trail, San Juan Batista de Anza Trail. So I found this on All Trails. All Trails, again, I really like it. It's a great app, especially if you want to do hiking or backpacking. It gives you a lot of good details, plus there's a lot of reviews, so it gives you a really good idea of what's going on. Um, this is a 5.2 mile trip, so I'm not sure if that's there and back again. We'll see. Um, it told a little bit of it's uphill, which is what I'm trying to get because I need to get better at doing those. Uh, so when I go to uh, go to the Sierras this summer to do a, a backpacking trip, I'm more able to do that. Also wanted to thank all those new subscribers. I had a goal of having 10 subscribers by the end of the year. That's 2022. 20, and we are at 22 subscribers. So thank you very much for all those who subscribed. Um, if I could get some comments, where would you think of me go hiking or backpacking next? Um, just name it. I think what I'll do is once I get a, a certain number of, of trails or hot backpacking areas, I will uh, put it in uh, my canteen cup. I think that's appropriate. And then I'll just pick one out and that's the one I'll do. So again, don't forget to leave a comment in the, in the comment bar on that uh, goal of 10 video that I have up right now. That's the one where I go through Hollister. Uh, it did get one comment. Thank you uh, for letting me know. Uh, apparently my, my windshield wasn't as clean as it should have been. So I appreciate that. Those are all things I appreciate knowing so I can know how to get better at this as I, as I move along and learn how to do these videos a lot better. Uh, but this San Juan uh, Trail is near a town of, the town of San Juan Batista. Uh, it's a great little uh, town here in San Benito County. It's the second largest town. <laughs> we only have two real towns here, so it makes it easy. But uh, it's base, it's all set up like it would have looked back in the 1800s, the 1700s. The mission there is the oldest operating mission, I think, on, in the world or at least in California, and it's continuous. It's a beautiful mission. Uh, I love going inside and looking up at the, the timbers, and just it's just such a neat building to go into. You, you don't see buildings like that anymore. Uh, so again, I, I'd love to hear from you uh, in the comment bar, where would you like me to go next? Thank you to those 22 subscribers. Now that I made it to 22, let's see if we can get to 25. That's just three more subscribers by the end of the year. And I look forward to, uh, the comments in the comment bar about where I can go, what I can do to improve. Like again, thank you uh, to the subscriber who let me know, hey, uh, your windshield needs to be cleaned so it's easier to see as we go drove through Hollister. So I thank you for that. Um, but like I said, this this is going to be a fun, exciting hike. I've I did I've lived here in this area for like I said over 20 years. Never knew even knew it was such a thing. And then all trails, which I highly recommend. Uh, get a little closer to the window here. Hey, 141. All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good, thanks. Go. Thank you. Hey, you have a Merry Christmas, okay? All right. So I'm here at my. <laughs> Hike Ritual McDonald's, getting my McDonald's cocaine, otherwise known as Diet Stay in the left two lanes. That's my uh, series map telling me how to get there. It's saying stay in the left two lanes, but I haven't even left the McDonald's drive through But uh, as often as I go to this McDonald's, I think McDonald's might, might be interested in uh, dropping a little... Uh, a little cheddar my way that'd be kind of nice I mean, maybe a gift card mcdonald's here on airline highway this is a great mcdonald's always a busy big lines here at this place so um anyways 
that's kind of what we're going to be doing this hike uh i am going to uh, be sampling a, a backpacking mill as well as using uh my new uh canteen i'm not sure if i like it now that i have it filled up it's a little bit heavy uh, but the one we're going to be trying this time is Peak 2 Refuel Beef, beef Pasta Marinara. All right, and it's got beef in here, so I, I was thinking about going to tar, going to Knob Hill and getting some, uh, like, meat for this, but I think I'll just try it like it is this time. Uh, I always like to add a little something, because these meals can, can be a little bit bland, but I think this one's going to be pretty good, so I'm excited about trying. Again, Peak 2 Refuel. Um, this serves two people, so this is way more food than I could ever use. But in all fairness, I, I, I want to try all the different brands out there. And again, maybe let you guys know which ones I find good. Everyone has their what they their like and dislike. Uh, but I, I definitely enjoy some of the brands I've liked, some of them I, I haven't. Um, I'm thinking I need to give that brand that was made in Maine a, a new try because I think that that hike, that turkey hike, uh, maybe I didn't give it enough chance to really uh, completely dehydrate because a lot of it was still crunchy. So I tell you what, now my next time I go, I will try not, I will try to get, hey, how are you doing, man? Is this diet? Yeah. Awesome, hey, have a Merry Christmas, all right? You too. Thank you. All right, so we are off, off for our next exciting adventure as we had the De Anza Trail. San Juan Baptista De Anza Trail. It's kind of a lot to say. And uh, I'm kind of lazy, so. Uh, I think I'll just leave it at that. But, anyways, I look forward to seeing you guys at the trail. And if I get a chance, I can't guarantee it, but I am gonna see if I can. I just, I don't know how close this is to San Juan Baptista itself. But if it's at the traffic to lights, turn left onto Airline Highway. Um, if it is close enough, I will, uh, I'll do a little tour of San Juan Baptista, specifically the Mission District. There is really, um, if you're a history nerd, um, you love architecture, especially architecture built back in the uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. Um, it's a place to see. Um, and you can walk through the different buildings and tour them. We went through for a Halloween session. It was really awesome. Uh, Haunted San Juan is what it's called. Uh, so, anyways, all right. Next time we get, next time you see me, through the magic, the magic of YouTube, we will be at the trail, or maybe driving through San Juan Baptista. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, we are going on the Alameda. So this is going to be an interesting. We are actually almost to our location, so I, I'm really curious about this trail. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, we'll just do another trail. Uh, we'll do the Hubner Creek over in the Halser Hills. Uh, but according to the map, this is where it's taking us. So I'm a little curious. Never knew this trail existed until, again, all trails great research great app i think it's like nine bucks a month a year or something some crazy low price and they've got all sorts of reviews and you can read them um take a look at that so there we go and uh there is an old call San Juan Road that, that I think actually closed. Continue on to Salinas Road, then the destination is on your left. All right, hold on, let's see. Let's see where we're going here. The destination is on your left. Like I said, I've never done this. San Juan. Okay, there's the there's the trail. So let's see uh, how far we can go up this. This is a. Uh, it's a little bumpy through here. A little 
kitty. Lots of feral cats here. Although that, that looks a little, a little bit too healthy to be a feral cat. Alright, so... Looks like coming near the end of where you can... Let's take a look up here so far. <laughs> Alrighty. So... Let's... Uh, I'm gonna go as far up here as it will let you. Okay, let's see what it says. No smoking on De Anza Trail. No parking beyond this point. Okay, so. I was hoping I'd get up here, so I'll just turn around. Right, there's a little turn off here. Pets must be kept on leash. All right. So, here we go. So this is, again, this is all new to me. Obviously, hopefully it'll be new to some of you people. Uh, I've seen some of the reviews on the on all trails. So it's a bit of a in the beginning it's a bit of a uphill part, which I'm looking forward to again as a guy that needs to get better in shape, uh, wants to do some more challenging like at Yosemite. Uh, my son wants to go there. I've been to Yosemite before. They want to do a day hike there, but I actually, if we're gonna go to Yosemite, I definitely want to We'll see what happens there. All righty. So let's go ahead and stop here and we'll get started again on the trail. All right, guys. So here we are. We are at De Anza, uh, San Juan De Anza Trail. Again, this is my first time being here. There's the sign right there. No smoking on De Anza Trail. No parking beyond this point. There's a little, there's a little green line. Same color as my, my stick. Uh, emergency vehicles pets must be on leash hcc 316 whatever that means so all right guys so here we go i need to lock my car apparently there's been a lot of thefts here in san juan batista lately so all right so we're gonna head on this trail Hello. All right, so this should be exciting, YouTubers. Again, Fat Guy's Backpack. Uh, I'm at 22 subscribers, so thank you again for those 22 subscribers. Uh, I have nowhere to go but up. So if you're interested, uh, Please subscribe and like as always and leave a comment where would you like me to go next a hiking backpacking adventure you name it uh, so hopefully I did get a new uh, canteen I'm gonna try on this trip it's called the Gerland it's 40 ounces it's a bit heavy uh, so we will see how it works out. So let me go over here. And there's a little uh, here at the trailhead. Uh, we can't block the gate, the sheriff. Fire access. Put my walking stick right there. And uh, so let me turn this around. And uh, we'll show you what the sign says. It's kind of cool. It's actually made out of wood sprite. All right, guys, so we're headed up the trail now. Just had to get a few things taken care of. It was interesting reading the uh, about De Anza. He and uh, Father Pedro, they were with about 220 people. One of the things they were surprised with uh, how many natives were in the area. So there you go. So it must have been a huge amount of native uh, Americans in this area at the time. Um, I think sadly most of I think most of the tribes are pretty much extinct. Um, I could be wrong though. Hey, maybe someone watching this channel knows more about it than I do. Um, but uh, there's a, actually a lot of good history in this area. Uh, California's pretty blessed with that, uh, especially uh, pre uh, 
I guess was before it became part of the United States. So, uh, pre pre California territory period, I guess you want to call it. So, I have to look and see if there's some good audio books. Uh, this trip will be back to Will, finishing him up. Uh, I'm currently almost done with the last of my Christmas books as we head into the a week or so before Christmas. Um, but that said, uh, I'm re finishing listening to uh, uh, A Boy Called Christmas. It's actually a good book, not bad audio book. Overall, I guess family friendly uh, book. Netflix did a uh, a movie on it. It's not bad. Follows the book for a lot. Uh, they take certain uh, artistic liberties, of course, uh, and they kind of jump through the ending. It's uh, Maggie. I don't know what her last name is. She played in Harry Potter. Uh, she played the uh, head, uh, one of the main wizards in the Harry Potter movie series. Uh, she's also in something else. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, oh, it's that British TV show. Yeah, some sort of mine. I'll think of it. Anyways, so she's the, uh, she's in the movie. She does a great job as always. She's a great actor. Um, I think her last name is Smith. Anyways, so we're gonna head out, up to a gate. This is kind of a, a asphalt we're on right now. Another no smoking sign. Apparently, a lot of people like to smoke up here. We're gonna head up into the oak forest a little lots of uh, horse turds along here so I don't know how you'd uh, take a horse on this trail because got, it's got this right here So I'm not sure how you would, uh, what if this gate opens? Yeah, there is a little gate here, I guess. But, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and walk across to this. Yeah, there's no way a horse would wanna go over this. So I don't know, let's look over here. Okay. So, okay, I see it. So right here. Hey, maybe the, oh, there's a little doohangy here. Push that up. Ah, there you go. So now it moves open. So we're going to close it back up. There we go. So that's how you do that. Kind of fun. A lot of the leaves, have, a lot of the trees have lost their leaves. Fall, typically in this part of California, arrives late, 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 late August. Uh, not late August. Uh, late October. Sorry, late October. Early November, maybe. So. Yeah. We, it looks pretty nice. I mean, you get some. It's kind of interesting, though. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. See the cattle over there. See how it's all green. That's because we had a thing called rain. <laughs> that's how it always is. Come summer, that will be all almost yellow. Uh, 
unfortunately I don't think we're gonna get any more rain till after Christmas I know that's where it's at unfortunately but it is the truth we uh, really need a lot more rain but we did get some in fact you can I don't know if you can see this is all still pretty wet which is a good thing we can use that and you can see the trees behind me right here they're all missing their leaves uh, the oak trees don't lose their trees leaves at all they keep them throughout the year see, here's a oak tree right here this part of California that is the predominant tree in the area see a lot of homesteads out here but anyways kind of a beautiful trail as you can see all right so here we go guys now you can see what I see there's a biker that just went by uh, I brought my nano so they do exist uh, this is great it uh, measures my steps I don't know how accurate it is it's pretty decent though it pretty much follows what uh, so far all trails it give me again this is a 5.2 mile trip so so far we're going up somewhat muddy but uh, it's not too bad yeah, I've seen it worse like mud ranch <laughs> that was far worse I'm gonna go over here where it's a little less muddy there we go I don't even hear that it's kind of cool in a way in a way it's not because it's right near uh, right near civilization still we can see all down there some ranches some horses over there in the distance uh, not sure who owns these uh, but it's a beautiful area even with the uh, even with the farms it's a beautiful day a little bit overcast just slightly it's probably in the getting close to the 50s now so I will probably be take off my sweatshirt in a little bit but we'll see all right here we are fat guys backpack just taking a little break got my uh, sweater off that's getting really hot in that thing uh, so far this is a great hike it is a uh, great location so this is way too hot though it is what time is it Let me pause this All right, 112 in the afternoon. It's around lunchtime. Uh, so, all right, we're gonna be headed up that way. So I think we're about halfway there. All right, we'll see you uh, in a few.